feet. I have said, I really feel like chicken, but I don't want to do this anymore. So I'm going to get my own. And me and Eagle grabbed two live chickens and we killed them and plucked them and ate them. And that was an eye-opening experience for me. Like, wow, this is a, an animal. We're going to kill it. And I'm like, hello, this is what we all do when we eat meat. So it was kind of like, you know, like, like, let's be real about this. And that ties in with product. I, one way I have so much respect for the Balinese is they're just so close to death. They're so close to what's real. They go on the rice feed, they'll eat the snails, the frogs, the dragonflies. Then they have their chickens, they have their pig that they're proud of, that every now and then needs to get shot and eaten for a certain ceremony. And then when the family members die, they just come here and they just die. And they, when they, they need to bury it, they dig a grave. Or they need to cremate it, they'll burn it. And it's there, it's in your face. It's so real. And that's really struck me here. And I've become a lot, not harder, but just closer to death just by living here in the countryside and seeing it happening all the time. Every time they kill a pig or we even bury someone here, help them. You know, that's wow. And I feel we got so far removed from that. Death become this illusion. You, know, you can't even talk about it or see it. And that's why it's so easy to sell really bad chicken to us in the West, wrapped in plastic. We don't really know what it is. We don't want to know. We just want to just taste good. So free-range chicken in the UK will typically have a picture of this really handsome rooster, you know, going through his comb, standing in front of a shed. That's my shed. I'm the chicken. A little bit of grass in the background. But the reality is so much different because free-range in the UK is nine chickens to a square meter. They need to go outside a few hours a day. So this carpet will fit at least 30, 35 chickens. So they call that free range, you know, but that's not really. So if you wanted to eat meat, you're looking at organic, or you're looking at a beautiful organic chicken from France. You can buy them in Holland, because in France, they still care a lot more about animal welfare and flavor of the meat. So there is ways of getting it. But I know the French chickens in Holland will cost you $30. You gotta be wanting to pay that, and they're a bit tougher. They're absolutely packed with flavor, and they've had a, a good life. You know? But that's what we should be paying for an animal, an animal's life. Not five dollars, because two dollars go to that farmer, and another two dollars to the supermarket, a dollar for transport, packaging, and then how much is left to feed this chicken? That's where they're cutting corners in the food, and then they're cutting corners in the agriculture that grows the food. So ultimately, the soil—it always comes down to the soil. Whether you eat vegetables, pulses, grains, meat or dairy or eggs, it's always the health of the soil that's going to determine your health as a human being. Unhealthy soil, unhealthy humans.